Willoway Permaculture Design courses aim at emulating the properties of a willow, strength and resilience. So we really saturate the course with lots of hands-on learning and many site visits with design exercises. We get you designing right from the first day so that these qualities come into you and help you grow your bond with the land, the, the qualities of strength and resilience. Permaculture is a wonderful means to help us reinvent our connection with the earth and with each other. In a sense, permaculture is a set of tribal tools for a new world. Permaculture is a design method for deriving the optimum formula for sustainability for any given place, be it urban or rural, rainforest or desert. It can be applied to any place. Permaculture has estimated over 12 million graduates globally and growing. It's taught in over a hundred countries. It really is a grassroots global sustainability movement. What can one person do? So much. The permaculture design course is the main way that permaculture is shared across the planet. The special focus of the Will Away course is coming to our senses to connect with the land and communication with nature. Also cross-cultural connection and season extension for high altitude, high yields. So many people from different cultures around the world are taking the permaculture principles to heart and then they're adding their own creativity and specific qualities of their homeland and they're deriving fantastic systems that regenerate the earth and they help heal it rather than hurt it. The uniqueness of each land base plus the needs of the life forms that are there is what directs the design. There's no one right way to do permaculture. I've been involved in teaching permaculture for about 20 years. First in Africa, two year project in at West Africa. I was involved in the teaching team in the Navajo Reservation for a couple years and an early project on the Arapaho Reservation and then taught in several courses here in Colorado. And more and more I'm just so impressed with what people are doing with permaculture in so many diverse cultures and diverse land forms. And um, now that things are really changing in the world and we're coming up on a lot of reasons why sustainability is becoming increasingly important, um, I'm increasingly involved. There are many ways that permaculture can support right livelihood. Uh, it's permaculture consultants, uh, permaculture teachers, creating financial permaculture community systems on a family level, uh, and then everybody can be involved in growing food and reducing energy costs. We like to start with the three ethics of permaculture. The ethics are care for the earth, care for the people, and share the abundance. I think these ethics are really strong and they're hard to argue with. So in permaculture, we're going beyond let's not poison the land to systems that really regenerate the soil fertility and ecological building that doesn't deplete the resource base and water purification through natural biological processes that are not energy intensive and they're not toxic. So permaculture also includes ideas for working with social structures and sustainable community design and financial development. It means forming relationships with the land that directly support the local economy, that is the economy of you and your family. In permaculture, we really aimed at focusing on the solutions rather than the problem. But I think it is important to give some attention to the problem. This is why so many people around the world are eager to learn more about permaculture and ways to bond with the earth again. So now the projections are that we already have hit peak oil, which means we have come to that day that we have produced the, the most per day that ever will happen and we are on the oil descent. This is something that 
some people, a small segment of the population, is busy preparing for adapting to that. And this slide is a really interesting one. You can see the blue jaggedy line on the left shows what annual discovery has been since 1930 when we started using a lot of oil, really just a, a blip on a screen in terms of human history. And then you see 2010, how discovery declines to almost zero very quickly. And then look at the green graph in the middle. This represents projected production and production is on a steady downward decline. And then the red line in the back is annual demand. Well, annual demand has been climbing steadily, but the projected demand skyrockets over the next two or three decades. At this point, familiarity with the backdrop is common. Permaculture gives us a way to respond to the global scenario. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. Permaculture is about adapting to the niche and getting the most out of it. Permaculture provides answers and considers that every problem suggests solutions when looked at from an inclusive viewpoint, bringing all the elements in human and ecological systems together to strengthen all the parts as a whole. Reciprocity is how nature works and what permaculture teaches and practices. So at Willoway we talk about the big P and the little P. The little P is the techniques. Permaculture provides a big umbrella that holds quite a broad spectrum of different sustainability techniques. Some of them come from vastly different cultures around the world and throughout time. But the big P is really the mo more important part, and that is the design method that provides for a highly integrated system where every element serves many functions. And the relationships provide for a very efficient synergy. The permaculture course builds skills for the design process. Um, like the other groups we talked about, um, sort of moving that water through the gravity so that it expands over the property, so there's less chance of flooding. And as a part of that, we thought the food forest mm -hmm. could be expanded. Have the pipe that comes up and then, <laughs> you know, they can put a Y right there. And, and it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you, you could know. just do it once. Right. I think that's a really, it's a good compromise. It's a good beginning way to teach people things. Right. You know, a good beginning way to work with differing opinions. Yeah. You know, sometimes you got to take little baby steps, you know, and that was a really good solution. So, Yeah, the last part is fun. We have all of our ideas now and sort of like choosing the one you like the best and what you're going to spend your time on. And um, that's fun. It's kind of like idea shopping. Johnny can So, I need... The design course is a transformational activity that really helps you get reconnected with your life, connected with other people, and connected with the plant and animal world. And so, you know, making those connections is subtle and challenging, but it's also very important. It's what we need to do to really shift the way we live on the planet. But we live in a specialist world that just forces us into these little narrow strata of work that we're supposed to do. But to be connected with this earth, we have to kind of move out into more of a generalist place so we can see what's in front of us and experience the plants and experience the animals and start to see the connections between things. This is technology that's appropriate for the user and for the scale of use. And you know, so we teach people some of the basic techniques, the materials, uh, formulas, things you need to know to do that. We can't cover every green building thing, but we can give you enough information that you can start knowing enough to make decisions and changing the way you might do things. So much of our processes, chemical, biological, agricultural, all use water. Some communities now have uh, purple pipe systems for when you take wastewater and treat it and reuse it. And, and that's a lot of what my business focuses on, is taking wastewater cleaning it up and using it again so that you get more life out of a single drop of water.
taking water and maximizing its usage and finding ways to enhance the synergies that it has with the things around us, right? Especially in the agricultural world. With sheet mulching, we're adding the ingredients of composting on top of the ground. Attention is paid to moisture levels, to the carbon nitrogen ratios being right. And um, the first step is putting down a compostable weed barrier, usually cardboard. This is a good example of how permaculture mimics nature. And it's really effective. I've tried this in five different climate zones and every time it works very well. I'm really sold on it. When you do it right, you set it up as a worm bin. Worms are really important in agriculture. Um, just the burrowings of worms can provide five to 11 times more nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium than the surrounding soils. Aquaponics is an, a new idea that permaculture has really embraced and it is growing fish and plants in mutually beneficial relationships. So it's a type of guild. We do a lot with season extension. We have a short growing season. We have to be able to start our plants early and extend the growing season into the fall and even over the winter. A variety of different remedial and health giving and potentially fruit producing um, functions. So we like to get outside, we like to talk outside, be outside as much as possible. This is an example of using a commercially prepared inoculum that's really just a, a spore mass and spores in permaculture we talk about working from working with small and slow solutions and spores are about the smallest thing that we work with, or that I know of. You can fit a thousand of them on the head of a pin. So we're going to introduce these spores into the area, water them in, let them germinate, and then they demand a relationship with, at the root level with the plant. And that exchange, that symbiotic exchange is taking place. Well, when we cut these plants off, the mushroom knows that its, that its food source has gone, and so it immediately reproduces. And underground, it disseminates massive amounts of spores into the soil. So then we can take this soil and move it into the landscape, use it to work around the plants, use it in our potting soil for seed and plant starts. We can do all kinds of things with it and give the roots of the plants that we're working with that jump start. Will Allen, director of Growing Power in Milwaukee, which is growing food for 2,000 people on three acres in the city, says it's now conclusive. A food revolution has begun. Vindana Shiva, famous female activist from India, says that the greatest symbol of freedom and independence of our time is the simple act of saving seeds. Permaculture has created a front row seat in the food movement for millions of people worldwide. It's a grassroots people's movement that is inspiring hope and new beginnings in people all over the world.